All right, welcome uh, Blockchain Village. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is John Nash or Crypto Nasher, uh, core, core developer for the Redcoin team. Uh, just like to shout out and have a uh, thank you for the invite. Uh, we're invited here for the Capture the Flag event. We're putting together a little bit of our technology stack for for the uh, enlightened out there to uh, to go through what we're we're uh, able to present for our project. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a, a little bit of a background for those who aren't familiar with Redcoin. We've been uh, 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 came about in uh, 2014 as a uh, fork from Litecoin originally, uh, with the goal of setting about to be a social currency uh, for people to basically allow to reward one another across social networks. Uh, Redcoin as a blockchain is a load of low fee to free transactions and uh, relatively quick blockchain with a block timing of about one minute. Uh, we originally started as a proof of work coin and now we've moved across the uh, a proof of stake uh, that happened about uh, nine months or so after inception and we've been running for well, since 2014 as a proof of stake with a couple of changes we've modified the proof of stake uh, at least once in that time to basically help subsidize the, uh, the developers team through an additional stake reward um, one of the as I mentioned one of the core goals of redcoin is to uh, reward social interaction and we've been able to come at that from a couple of different ways where originally we we're kind of the centralized bot process uh, of hosted uh, hosted site operating as a tip bot uh, but we have a longer term ambition to be able to uh, have a more seamless integration in with different social media platforms basically either through uh, browser a browser extension and uh, having a uh, injected uh, uh, scripts on pages or or directly through uh applications like, like mobile apps uh and trying to integrate that in with the blockchain so that uh, everything that we do is you know confirmed against the blockchain <clears throat> we don't pretend to be a social media platform as such more of a layer on top of that so that we can interact across uh the likes of facebook and twitter reddit etc uh and not be limited to, to any one of those. Um, our core focus at the moment has been to really try to achieve that uh, integration. And one of the ways that we see people struggle with wallets is obviously with uh, standard addresses being the long string of characters that are hard to memorize, is to put, put an ID behind that that's a little bit more memorable. And even being able to extend that across different social media channels so that uh, your different aliases across social media can be linked together. Uh, we're using, um, uh, well, we call it Red ID, and basically those IDs are uh, transacted and the data being immutable against the, the blockchain. Um, for, for this event, really, what we're, we're, we're standing up is a, a, a testnet environment where people can. Uh, Get involved in what we're, we've got running uh, on the test net and being able to uh, identify you know, data structures within that within the blockchain and also being able to even have a little bit of a history lesson on on what we've what we've done um for, yeah, for, for, for the event uh, myself and jay will be available throughout the the, the course of the weekend and uh, if you have any questions, then you can certainly reach out to us at any time, either through uh, Telegram or or um, Discord, um, and we have obviously other as other social channels. But I guess for DevCon, that's the, the about the most uh, appropriate. Um, Jay, can I uh, hand over to you now, and you can continue on? Absolutely. Thanks very much, John. And uh, thank you, everybody who's uh, attending DEF CON, Blockchain Village, and specifically our little bit of it. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge getting ourselves ready and our technology really to bring here on the fly. It's been a heck of a learning experience. And uh, like our, our ongoing journey through the, uh, the cryptocurrency world, there are new challenges and new, new difficulties every day. Uh, we did actually pivot 
from being on site at the event at DEF CON with our, uh, our setup and, and personnel to doing it remotely as we're, uh, we're doing that today. Uh, you'll see if you go to defcon.redcoin.com, all of the instructions, the, um, not only the uh, support documentation and access to tools and things like that for this Capture the Flag event, uh, but also the link to our uh, CTFD site. You can click through there, register if you'd like, and uh, I believe as soon as this video is posted, um, go to town and, and see if you can you can capture some of those flags and earn the rewards. We will say a couple of things about that. Um, the uh, flags, at least some of them, may be in the format of private keys, at least if, if you do the proper extraction. And those private keys, as they appear there, do have Redcoin associated with them on our blockchain. So apart from uh, reporting the flags and it back into the challenges in the system to get credit for that, you may want to go uh, collect that prize if you happen to be the first one to that flag. Um, for some of them, and we'll speak to this also, we are going to be giving out direct prizes, uh, keeping track of all of that on a scoreboard you'll see on that same system. Uh, and as well, our, our uh, staff, our creative folks have decided to create um, some DEF CON specific NFTs that will be awarded to the top three finishers in the contest. Um, those will be available afterwards. We'll need to get uh, Ethereum addresses to transfer those over to you. But again, it's a little bit of a, a thank you for participating and some of the new technology we're working on. Uh, we really did wanna see what we could do to make it special. And that includes not just giving out some of our amazing red coin, but some NFTs and some other technology benefits. Um, I did want to say that uh, we, we ran into some problems with our setup here. So part of that functionality uh, that we were very much looking forward to, to showing off and having, um, let's say, messed around with is uh, a bit non-functional, a bit non-functional. Um, so uh, around the uh, name registration aspect of it, if you're using the software, the wallet is fully functional. If you uh, require test read for doing transactions, anything like that, um, the instructions in there. Oh, we don't have a faucet actually. You can contact any of our, our team members. We'll send you some over. Um, and that's not necessary for the, the operation and, and the challenges, but it is, um, oh, I'll leave it at that. Um, I, I would say a big part of why we're here is to encourage some education in, into what is cryptocurrency and the relation to security, cybersecurity, and all the aspects of it. Uh, a lot of our space relies on solid security and on fundamental concepts that everybody who's gonna be watching this, this talk is familiar with, maybe some that you're not, some of the applied cryptography and blockchain techniques. That's all stuff that you can learn building on the experience that you have, uh, you know, in the, the, the basic sort of fundamentals in the field. And it's that reason that we decided it really makes a lot of sense to do as much outreach to groups that are technically minded and really looking to, as we are, kind of change the world and improve it and, you know, make that that application of technology, you know, for a reason. That's in part why Redcoin exists. And that's something that, you know, we, we wanted to share this, this uh, solution as we built it so that it can be improved, so that it can be, you know, made better and, and solve the challenges that, that we have. So it's definitely a learning experience on both sides of the fence here. We hope to educate folks that are unclear on sort of how the, the pieces fit together and the blockchain works. And, and at the same time, you know, learn how to improve the security because clearly there are going to be uh, aspects that, you know, we'll, we'll be educated on as well. It, it is that, you know, important in our space, crypto as well as in technology, that we're sharing that knowledge across the board. We pride ourselves as a, a project and one of the original uh, legacy crypto projects, as John had said, back from 2014, on being an open source project. We are all volunteers, uh, and and you know our our bywords really are honesty, openness, and transparency through the software, through the operation of the blockchain, through who we are and what we do, and it's that sort of kindred spirit we've got certainly with that early hacker spirit, and I know that having been part of that group as well, uh, of of really wanting to. To, to seek change and induce, you know, what what positivity that we can from the aspects of cybersecurity, you know, there's always going to be opportunities to to get involved in, in the things that's, that are happening in uh, cryptocurrency and in blockchain, especially in DeFi, especially in some of these more 
uh, complicated and interesting projects, uh, it, they need to be safe and everybody really is focused on that as a priority. That's a big part of why the folks that are, you know, you guys are, are watching these videos and attending DEF CON and in point of fact, why John and I and the team were very excited to be engaged in part of DEF CON as well. It is a, a, a sharing uh, experience, you know, across the board and I've already learned quite a bit myself. So uh, we would open up the, the it's, we can't do it in person, but uh, if anybody uh, in the audience or doing these challenges and the, the capture the flag uh, event that we've put together is interested in talking to either ourselves or other people we can make introductions to in the cryptocurrency and the blockchain space, the only thing we always say is don't hesitate, reach out, you know, talk to somebody on the team. There is room to grow and room to learn and nobody really is that expert in all things. That's another part of why we're we're you know trying to encourage really anybody with with an interest and you know a, a, a skill set that applies. The space needs you. We don't grow without everybody sort of pitching in and, and doing their part, whether paid to join a company in the space or working as a volunteer for projects that really catch your fancy and, and make you you know wake up in the morning wanting to work. That's what Redcoin has been for John and I and the rest of the team for years at this point because it, it is an example of being able to take some very simple tech and, and make a change, make a difference in the world. So we do hope that you guys will uh, take a look at what we've, we've put out there for you. Uh, again, the websites are defcon.redcoin.com and uh, the uh, management site, if you'd like to sign up, is linked to that. Uh, it is defcon-ctfd.redcoin.com. Uh, and that should be in the in the write-up as well and in the documentation. But again, defcon.redcoin.com, all the docs and the links and the tools and the link to that site. I believe it is open for uh, competition now, so you can have at it. We, uh, John and I and some of the other members will be in the Discord chat. Uh, we're also on Telegram in the Telegram chat and in our own Redcoin channels. It's a whole big deal today. Um, so feel free to reach out or if you have more questions about what we're doing and why we're doing it, the, the concepts of registering a name, why it needs to be decentralized. I mean, a lot of people who are watching this may know those answers. A lot of you may be able to tell us how to do it better. That's really, you know, the kind of, of, of relationship we have with the community. And to that end, you know, everybody's welcome and you don't have to own Redcoin to be a redhead. Uh, I think that's basically all I've got. Uh, I, I will say thank you just in in uh, wrapping up for the, the folks that helped us put this together, uh, Ron and Nathan from Blockchain Village and the ridiculous team at DEF CON and everybody that was involved in doing this. I have been impressed beyond belief with the talent and expertise uh, arrayed at, at this event and hope to do this again next year, likely in person, we hope, if things are a little bit less crazy. Um, and other than that, you know, let's all do some learning and, and uh, Earn some points and some red coin and there is there is about a thousand dollars in red coin depending where the price goes you know today tomorrow and the next day uh there is about a thousand dollars in red coin up for grabs in this competition and again we will be we repurposing we have to pull some of the challenges that were related to that uh red id function that's not working um and the top i think i think uh five makes sense because we had to pull five so those top five will also get a, uh, a reward straight in Redcoin. Um, and really, other than that, thank you for, for taking the time. And uh, everybody stay safe and have a great day.